The High Commission facilitated an outward business mission to Ghana, organized by the Department of Trade and Industry of the Republic of South Africa from 16th to 19th August 2015. The mission was made up of 30 enterprises across different sectors, including agriculture, agro-processing, infrastructure, energy and mining. The business mission was led by the Deputy Minister of the Department of Trade and Industry, Mr. Mzwadile Masina. The High Commission provided liaison services and facilitated the state visit of His Excellency Mr. John Dramani Mahama, President of the Republic of Ghana, to the Republic of Mauritius from 24th to 26th August 2015. President John Dramani Mahama was accompanied by a 35-member delegation which included Honorable Ekol Spugabra, Minister for Trade and Industry, Dr. Edward Omane Buama, Minister for Communications, Honorable Elvis Afriye Ankara, Minister of State of the Presidency, Ambassador Kwesi Kwate, Secretary to the President, Ambassador Kwesi Ahoy, Ghana's High Commissioner to Mauritius, Mrs. Mawena Treba, Chief Executive Officer of Ghana Investment Promotion Center, officials from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, and the Ghana High Commission in Pretoria, presidential staffers, staff of the national security, as well as the media. the High Commission's recommendation and facilitation, the Asante Hene Otunfo Set to the Second was invited by His Majesty King Mswati III of Swaziland as a special guest of honor for the 2015 Reed Dance and Annual Swaziland International Trade Fair, which took place at the Royal Residence and in the main arena at the Lizuzuini on 30th and 31st August 2015. Otunfo Set to the Second was accompanied by a 24-member delegation made up of paramount chiefs from the Ashanti Kingdom, palace poets, royals and horn blowers for the event. The Ghana High Commission mounted an exhibition stand and exhibited Ghanaian products, including textiles and garments, cocoa products, Casapreco Alomo Bitters products, hair and body creams, among others. The High Commission stand won the second Best Foreign Exhibitor Award. The High Commission's participation in the 2015 annual Reed Dance and the Swaziland International Trade Fair was historic and timely, as it took place barely a month after the presentation of credentials by Ambassador Kwesi Ahoy. The participation of the Asantehene, Otunfo said to the second, in both the annual Reed Dance and the Swaziland International Trade Fair is a testament to the High Commission's pursuit of fruitful and mutually beneficial relations and the deepening of the bonds of friendship between the two countries and fostering closer cooperation in tourism and cultural exchanges. 
Indeed, Ghana's rich cultural heritage and its chieftaincy institution was highly promoted during the duration of Putin for Saitutu's visit. Together with Ghana's Honorary Consul in Swaziland, Mr. Kobla Kwashi, the High Commission arranged for Otun Fawzai II to meet with the Ghanaian community in Swaziland. At the well-attended meeting, community members were delighted at the opportunity to meet with the Asante Hene, as well as the High Commissioner and other members of the entourage. Otun Fawzai interacted with the gathering, briefed them on aspects of Asante Mai development strategies, and shared ideas on various issues that affect the general comportment and well-being of the Ghanaian community in Swaziland. On Tuesday, 8 September 2015, Ambassador Kwesi Ahoy presented his letters of credence to His Excellency, Mr. James Alex Michel, President of the Republic of Seychelles, at a colorful ceremony held at the State House in Victoria. The President referred to the historical links between Ghana and Seychelles, which dates back to 1897 when the first Ashanti king, Otunfo Ajimai Prempe I, and his sub-chiefs were exiled to Seychelles by the British colonial authorities at the time and expressed the hope that both countries would pursue collaboration in the areas that had been identified in order to enhance the bilateral relations existing between the two countries. The ambassador's delegation subsequently met with the Vice President of the Republic of Seychelles, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Dr. Patrick Hemini, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Transport, and the Minister of Fisheries and Agriculture. The High Commissioner and his delegation also met the Leader of the Opposition, Honorable David Claude Pierre, the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, the Chief Executive of Petro Seychelles, as well as officials from the Ministries of Tourism and Culture, Education and Environment, and discussed bilateral cooperation between Ghana and Seychelles in their respective fields. The Ghana High Commission, in collaboration with Africa Project Access, organized a business mission to Ghana from 13 to 19 September 2015. The business mission, which was made up of 13 companies, was to afford the companies the opportunity to explore business opportunities that come with the development of Takradi as oil and gas center. The companies that participated in the business mission are internationally recognized companies and their interests cut across many sectors including the construction of ports and harbors infrastructure, mining, transport, insurance business, procurement as well as oil and gas services in Ghana. The companies included Moray & Roberts Ghana Limited, Andre Gutierrez, Bosch Projects, Lombard Insurance Company Limited, S&C Lavahin, Kent's Engineers and Constructors, Stella Logistics Ghana, The Rare Group, Group 5, and Southern Mapping. The High Commission, together with the Ghanaian community in South Africa, organized Ghana Fest 2015, the fifth in the series, on Sunday, 4th October 2015, at the Magnolia Dell Park in Pretoria, under the theme, Taste and See Ghana. GhanaFest is an annual event that is aimed at displaying and promoting interest in Ghana's creative arts and cultural heritage through traditional and contemporary Ghanaian music, dance, 
arts and crafts as well as poetry and performances. Ghana Fest also serves as a platform for promoting made in Ghana products through the exhibition and sale of Ghanaian agricultural products, clothing and accessories, Ghanaian cuisines and arts and crafts. The event was attended by over a thousand people of various nationalities, majority being Ghanaians. The ambassadors and high commissioners of Jamaica, Suriname, Mali, Kenya and Czech Republic graced the events with their presence. Also in attendance were members of the diplomatic corps and international organization in host country as well as representatives from the Department of International Relations and Cooperation DECO of South Africa. The High Commissioner in his welcome address emphasized on the need for Ghanaians, South Africans and other nationals in host country to live peacefully and in harmony. He referred to the South African philosophy of Ubuntu which means humanity towards others or I am because you are and mentioned that apart from bringing Ghanaians in host country together to socialize the event also seeks to promote cultural understanding which is essential if we are to live peacefully with our South African brothers and sisters and nationals from other countries that are living in South Africa. The crowd was treated to live Ghanaian high life music by the Aquaba band, a Ghanaian band resident in Houting, South Africa. The African Heritage Drum Beat, a Ghanaian dance ensemble, thrilled the festival grounds with their well choreographed chief sensor display, which saw a king in his full regalia sitting in state and occasionally moving to greet revelers on the festival grounds. They treated the crowd to folk songs and traditional dances from Adowa to Kiti. A South African dance group named African Child Dances also complemented the Ghanaian performances and thrilled the crowd with some traditional South African Zulu dances. The guest artist Ochiame Kwame, aka Rap Doctor or Mr. Versetel, who was flown from Ghana for the event was the high point of the festival. Dressed in an all-white attire, Ochiame thrilled the crowd with a rendition of his songs. He received wild cheers from the dancing crowd who connected easily with him as they sang word by word every song that he featured. Ochiame Kwame took the opportunity to advise the Ghanaian community to keep raising the flag of Ghana high by living a lawful and decent life and endeavor to invest at home. Another component of the program for the day was the fashion show jointly put together by Vidal Clothing, a Ghanaian-based designer and P&H boutique based in Pretoria, with various apparels designed by the fashion houses, elegantly displayed with style by Ghanaian models. The High Commission provided stalls on the festival grounds for over 30 exhibitors to enable them display and sell their wares, which included Ghanaian cuisine, textiles, ready-made Ghanaian clothes, accessories, beads, kente stoles, bags and sandals, as well as traditional Ghanaian arts and crafts. For the first time, two exhibitors, Deserve Fashion House and Video Clothing, came from Ghana specifically to participate in the event. They displayed Ghana's rich traditional and modern fashion and costumes from various parts of Ghana. The trade section took the opportunity to interact with these exhibitors and educated them, especially those who came from Ghana, on the importance of abiding by the South African import regulations when bringing goods into South Africa for commercial purposes. 
Ghana Fest 2015 was a huge success in terms of the patronage and its impact in host country as it succeeded in achieving its set goals of bringing Ghanaians together, forging a cultural understanding among South Africans, creating a platform for networking and fostering business partnership between Ghana and South Africa. On Friday, 16th October 2015, Mr. Kobla Kwashi, Ghana's honorary consul to Swaziland and his pals, Mrs. Koki Kwashi, in the company of Ambassador Kwesi Ahoy, donated 100 pieces of Ambi bags to the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Mrs. Koki Kwashi, who made the presentation, said the donation was in response to an appeal made by Honorable Hannah Tete, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration to all Ghana missions abroad to mobilize support for the victims of the Accra floods and fire explosion that occurred on June 3, 2015. Receiving the Ambi bags, Dr. Samuel Siama, Director of Medical Affairs, Kolibu Teaching Hospital, thanked Mr. and Mrs. Kwashi for their support, especially when the hospital was in need of materials. He said the ambu bags, which would be shared among all emergency departments in the hospital, would not only save children but adults as well. The High Commission, in collaboration with Mail and Guardian South Africa and Association of Ghana Industries, organized a business breakfast meeting for 100 business representatives in Novotel Hotel, Accra, on 19th October 2015. The keynote address was given by Dr. Nimoy Thompson the Director General of Ghana National Development Planning Commission. Other speakers included Ms. Lama Zingwana, South African High Commissioner to Ghana, Ambassador Kwesi Ahoy and Mrs. Mawena Treba of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. <music>